I don't think the magazine has ever moved quite so quickly from seeing a boat to testing a boat. Uh, last week we saw this for the very first time at the London Boat Show on Fine Design Stand and a week later we're down here at Cobbs Quay to take it out for a sea trial. It's the Cormate T27. If you know anything about hydro design who are behind the Coolmate boats, uh, then you'll know that this is a boat that is all about the driving experience. Hydro design used to build the hydro lifts and that was subsequently bought by Koenigsegg supercars. So you have an idea about what these guys are all about. Uh, and this boat has a 350 horsepower petrol engine out there behind the sun pad. And that means a top speed, an easy top speed of 50 knots and 40 knots through pretty much anything. We're in Pool Harbour now. We were outside the harbour earlier on and it's absolutely disgusting out there. Really steep waves, big chop, very, very nasty. And this thing dealt with it like it was a flat, calm summer's day. And you can tell it's a driver's boat as well by the driving position. I'm hunkered down here, good protection for the windscreen. The wheel is in my chest. You've got this racing throttle set up. And that is because when you floor the throttle, this thing really shifts. The scary thing is, this boat has a 350 horse V8. There's a 600 horsepower version. This one does 52 knots. They reckon that one will do 70. But the beauty of this engine, this petrol engine, is that when you're out and you're in the troughs, there's no lag whatsoever. It's naturally aspirated, so as soon as you give this one a little flick, there's an instant bit of power coming in from the engine so you can dig yourself out, out of any holes. And my God, is it quick! Woo! I'm not sure if this is coming across on the camera, but it certainly feels quick! Woo! It's trying to take my eyelids! Little bit of leg trimmer, and the hull is just sliding over the surface. Absolute perfection. And you've got that lovely petrol engine warble as well. Diesels are nice and all that, but there's nothing like a good petrol engine. Woo! It really goes. And then there's that rumble from the engine. I don't want to drive a diesel boat ever again. <laughs> this thing is quick. It is properly quick. What a tool. Absolutely amazing. It's a very easy boat to drive fast as well. I don't drive boats like this very often, um, but you take to it so easily. It doesn't punish you, it doesn't bite you, it doesn't skip. It feels totally secure, really, to do all this stuff. Uh, and a very rough day as well. Um, it's a very flattering boat to drive, thankfully. What a machine. So the first thing that caught our eye when we saw this at, at the boat show was, was the quality of it. As you can see, there's lashings of teak all over the place, not only on the deck, but here on the top sides. Lovely little details down the side of the cockpit here with inset LED mood lighting, which is really, really nice really high quality leather and stainless and then there's lots of nice little touches to make life on board easier like for example this backrest here which just pivots back like this to give you a nice sun pad right near the water as well which is quite nice and that just pops back in like that you have a top loading fridge on board as well just down here perfect little drinks fridge there's a cooker stowed away in the cupboard behind me and then it's the fine detail as well, like these little areas down here that perfectly fit the fenders. So you just pull them out, pop them inside there and they're sewed away nice and easily. Uh, and and the, there's always a handhold as well. That's what I like about moving around this boat. There's always something to grab onto around the windscreen, rails all the way up to the bow. Very safe, very practical, really well thought out. 
When it comes to sleeping space on the T27, well, it's not exactly the Queen Mary 2, but there's enough space here for a couple to have a night or maybe a weekend away at a push. You do have a sink. You also have a toilet. There's good storage under the berth as well. There's a bit more storage under my feet here too, which is also where the table lives that you can put in the cockpit. And one nice little bit, bit of design I like is this natty door system made of leather that just drops down like this. This thing is a bit of a revelation actually. I know it's quite expensive, just under 110 grand for, for the boat as you see it here, but when the, the rivals are the likes of Windy and Chris Craft, really, relatively, it, it's quite good value. And you're not gonna see many around. It's gonna turn a hell of a lot of heads. It looks absolutely stunning, especially in this powder blue hull coat. And what's really nice is it has the pedigree of Hydrolift, but it's got a leisure focused cockpit and somewhere to sleep and, and lovely finish. And it's totally, totally usable. But a word of warning, if you come down and see trial one, you'll probably end up buying one. Mm -hmm.